Hello guys, um, making this video here, I will be talking about uh, what to do when a, when a student of yours, you know, decide to go on uh, his own way or his own path. And uh, that's will be the talking here. But before anything, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Renato Migliasi or Renato. Okay, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I'm Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. I uh, got my black belt in the end of 2001, so it's been uh, close to 13 years now that I'm on a black belt. And um, I trained and got my black belt under High and Gracie, and uh, you know, trained with his brothers, uh, hands on, half Gracie. Uh, but I, after, uh, actually, I also started with Gordo, okay, it was uh, just for a few months when I was living in the same town that Gordo used to live. Uh, before he went back to to Rio, so same lineage, same guys, same guys, and never wanted to change or anything. Although I had my uh, had people coming with with uh, proposals, and uh, when I was you know competing, you know coming here to my team, we offered this, we offered that, and uh, I always want to stay. Uh, had some experiences in judo on that on the way too, but uh, I'll go. I'm gonna explain more. Later, but anyways, <clears throat> I'm a third degree black belt now, and then I think I have seen a lot of things. I'm not saying that I've seen them all, but I, I've seen a lot of things, and uh, I want to share with you guys. Okay, that's my. I'm not saying that's absolute. The absolute true. Um, you pick okay some ideas, uh, um, and I go from there. But uh, um, you know, I'm I'm still thinking that I'm gonna see more things coming. Okay, I'm here talking from my office. Uh, I am. Uh, I teach now in my own school at Sampa Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Okay, or SampaBJJ.com. You can check in there. I have close to 300 students. Okay, there and uh, every day thinking, you know, on how to um, get new students, how to make my students happy, make change. Uh, they are uh, when they they are focused and get them uh, motivated every day to come tr to try the school because you just is not an easy thing to do and people really stop okay so we're very very busy and uh, it's a shame that many times you know this um, little tricks that happen in jiu-jitsu if you don't see in a bad way that in a good way can turn badly okay so um, let me start uh, I, the reason I'm doing this video is for a friend, for you know some friends, some friends slash students. Okay, they uh, are having some problems in their own school, uh, and I will say you know what I think about it, and you guys can go from there. And uh, you know if you know if someone watching this video is not my student, okay, you can still keep watching and uh, uh, you know maybe take some ideas, okay, or just change it and go to another video. Uh, guys, I, I like I said, I have a, a bunch of students, okay, and uh, and we sell, if I can say that, because people pay the membership or, or the program to be in my school, so we sell a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu lifestyle. Oh, you should do this, you should know Jiu-Jitsu is forever, for the rest of your life, yes. But gets to a moment that this guy keep listening to this conversation, okay, and I cannot be a hypocrite, okay, because maybe in, in a certain moment, he's going to want to have his own school, okay. Uh, that's great. So I I really touched this guy's life, and he wants to know who have a school on his own. Uh, maybe on the same team as mine, maybe, maybe not, maybe just a, uh, just a friend team, he maybe he wants to start his own team. Um, I would love if he would stay with me, um, but I wouldn't be upset, as one day I maybe would, you know, when I was younger. And But, you know, guys, I was maybe, maybe being a hypocrite. Uh, if a student of yours decide to go on his own, you should... Um, how can I say support? Okay, you should support. I remember when I was in in judo. Okay, do I, if you know a little bit of my history, I started doing judo, and uh, by sixteen, I believe sixteen or seventeen, I went to. I was invited to go to a place and train where 
many many good guys were there and my coach said he go you know there is nothing else that you can do here you can get any better here there they have too many people who because the town that we were it gets to a moment that people you know they stop and they they, they go to do their university uh, you know they, they start looking for their own jobs because culturally not wasn't the thing to continue as a sport a sportman or, or, or become let's say uh, part of your life to be an athlete okay not in that place so he you know is a very honorable man that I as I have him uh, from the, from to, from this day uh, love, love him even though I changed teams but I, my heart was still with him uh, I just needed to go and uh, learn and get better and evolve so he was the first one who said please go okay so that's that's something that uh some somehow down the road people lose it i may be lost too but uh I, i'm back here guys i'm back in and I, I tell you okay um and uh, you know we're gonna talk a lot about a lot of things here uh so i have even a you know a couple notes so i don't forget to touch everything um so uh these guys uh they decide to open their own thing. I, I only thing I, the only thing that would hurt, okay, would hurt is, is trying to open a school right right beside you know the gym you came from, okay, and try to steal students and uh, uh, every every student uh, every owner business owner gonna face this somehow, okay. But this is very sad. This is low low level. Okay, you guys, you can get your own students. Okay, you can get your own students at any time. You don't need to steal students from somebody else. Okay, and the people will somehow down the road understand that's very, very low level. Okay, and they might happen this to you, but somebody it, it must must uh, break the chain and not doing this. So if you're going somewhere else, that's okay. Just you know, start your own place. Um, don't invite students to go to come okay sooner or later they will find out then where you are and if they want to go they go okay I have uh, uh, recently a problem with uh, uh, with some of my one of my my students I would say still a student okay and uh, um, I had an employee who, who didn't like the the changes I did to, to, to the school and the employee left so the employee joined another school uh, not a martial arts school, not Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but you know, trying to drag people there and uh, start their own thing. You know, that's plus they don't have much experience to try to, you know, to be a com competition uh, with me. And plus, I, have, I put so much heart in my thing that, you know, it's just, it's just a shame. It shouldn't be that way. Okay. Just, you know, take it, the, the advice, takes the changes, and it will be. It, the, everyone would be happy okay because we the change we had for good was you know for the better of the school and everyone is happy actually here so anyways guys uh talking about backing again uh if your student wants to go okay and you if you are a student guys please don't 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 try to open a school beside or even close don't try to this is low level this is how i think it's a low level thing okay guys there are many many people out there for you to try to get it okay it's like when you have a girlfriend and then that friend of yours as soon as you break up with a girlfriend that friend of your goes and, and try to to get her it's like like what, what the heck it's just like you know and maybe they go out yeah so that how that feeling is like you, you they want to go they they were wanting to go before so if you're not happy with the school Okay, just leave. So, like, uh, to finishing the 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 story that I was saying that you know they they start calling people and and one of my students specifically they were very friends with that with that uh, uh, former employee, and he started you know bringing every time was a problem every time was a problem. I called him on the side and say, my friend, what's the problem? You know, I know you were a friend of the other and. Uh, you know, they left, you know why they left, that's my story, maybe they are saying different story, but that's my story, and like I said, ultimately, I'm the I'm the boss here, I decide what's going to happen in the school, so if you are not happy, just leave, okay, stop bitching, stop talking, and stop, just leave, 
because it's better for everyone. Okay, maybe you don't agree anymore with my with my ideas, and people have different ideas. Okay, they have different religions, they have different parties uh, and the politicians, they have different ideas, and you gotta respect that. Okay, but don't stay here inside, you know, maybe creating problems. Okay, so um, that's that's pretty much a, a little bit of my idea. I'm gonna talk a little bit more. Okay, uh, let me get here on my notes here. See what the, uh, so some situations that happened to me, for example. Okay, one day I was teaching, in, you know, in a school, and uh, uh, I wasn't much happy with what was happening. And like I said, I was planning on leaving, but never planning to open the place around the the that 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 school i never want to right beside now i actually want to go away different um actually i went i went further different different uh, states because you know the state that i actually was living was cold i hate the cold and i want to go you know i want to go to florida to a place you know better so uh but you know what i that was my fault and i learned from it you know, I started talking around that I wasn't happy and stuff when I actually should talk to the first guy, the main guy, the guy who hired me, okay? And uh, uh, the guy realized that I, I wasn't happy by other people and uh, and there was a big fight at the end uh, uh, where actually people started hating each other when we actually not even could talk. So uh, whenever you have a problem, just go ahead and talk. Okay, explain and take both sides. Another problem that I had once too, guys are being around, you know, came from Brazil, tried to realize where I'm going to stay. I went to a friend's school and we were teaching there, happy, very happy. Love that. Love my, my, oh, by the way, the guy in, in, uh, in this state, the, the, the first story, uh, I had the pleasure to meet him in a tournament after years, okay, and I talked to him and I said, hey, older now, uh, I realized that, uh, uh, you know, I want to thank you for, for the opportunity you, you gave to me, and uh, it was a shame the way the things end up, I don't hate you, maybe I hated him once, but I don't hate you anymore, and uh, it was really a shame that the, thing, the way the things ended up and we couldn't actually talk and explain, we allowed people to talk for us and you know that's when the problem is so man up guys man up that's another another uh um tip or or tip i would say okay um man up and talk sit with the person and explain what's going on the reasons and not just leave okay this this is a shameful and then that's actually not what martial arts or brazilian jiu-jitsu is trying to teach you in my school, what we are trying to teach to someone is like if one day the guy gets so confident and one day he, he hates his job, he can sorry my word, but he can say fuck you to his uh, uh, boss, okay, and get a better job, okay? So he mans up and have a life, okay, that he actually is proud of, okay? And he beca he goes home as a better as a better husband, as a better dad, okay? Or, or the woman, okay? She goes back home as a better wife, okay, to to uh to the family okay so uh like i said guys man up um uh, what else so i was teaching in this school and uh, we you know i wasn't happy with the with the the, the the amount of money that i was doing because I, I thought i could do more and this is what we call it is actually is the the inter entrepreneur myth the e-myth okay these guys i recommend that Okay, this is actually a CD. If you're too, bu too busy, you can't put this and listen to this. Okay, it's a bestseller. It's, it's great stuff. So, um, talks a person, uh, talk about the person who don't want to be the, empl the employee anymore and then, then decides to be the employee, the employer or open his own business. But once he realized that, oh my God, I got to pay rent. I got to do this. I got to do that. He goes crazy. And I realized that it's not as simple as he thought. So there is, um, there is, a, there are people. Let's see, there are people that prefer to be employees, and there are people that prefer to be employers. Okay, so it's nothing wrong with that. 
Okay, it's the, the that only depends on the life style that one wants to pick. That's all. Okay, that is a lifestyle to be an employee and another lifestyle to be an employer. Okay, which one you want to be? That's all. And if the person, as your student, decide to go in another way, that's great for him, I would say, guys. Come on. All right? Every man has a choice, has the right to have a choice, and the right to get better. So, as I was teaching in this school, okay, uh, the guy, uh, uh, okay, I wasn't happy. Like I said, you know, okay, let's open a, a school together. Okay, like I would do with any other student of mine. If he has a, if he has money to do it, go and do it. If you want to do it on his own, if you want to do it with me, okay, we do it with me. Then we're gonna to try to get into a consent. Okay, what's what's uh, uh, how we gonna how we gonna do this? Let's let's talk the term the terms. Okay, I disagreed. I disagreed with the terms between my friend and me. I we, we didn't get into a consent, and what happened is my my friend you know started he got upset and he hated me, and I don't know if he, he hate I don't know because it was his feelings but that's what there was a it was a big a big fight we stopped talking for a while, and uh, uh, I got a little upset too because you know I kind of promised to him that we would open a school together and you know many dreams and many stuff but you know at the end guys it's your life okay you decide what you want and no one can be upset with your decisions okay if that one gets a little upset with your decision this is actually not being your friend okay so you got to be supportive just go you know that's okay to be upset but you know take it for yourself okay don't don't act like you hate me or don't act like you know I did something bad to you because that's not nice okay guys so uh, again let's check a little bit here all the stuff that I have to say so now for example you all know that maybe you know but I since 2005 I've been going to uh, to Europe to teach and I went to many places there, guys. Now I don't have much time to do it. We still see a lot of guys going because that's the only way that they can make some money. And you know, God bless them. They are trying to make money. You know, they're trying to make their living. Okay, so you see people going around and uh, offering themselves for for um, seminars. Okay, and what's my idea? I I don't have a problem. I have many of my schools. Okay. Other people going to to my schools and you know offering seminars and teaching seminars there, and especially if I know the guy and I know the way he teaches and um, the idea that he teaches and the, 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 uh, um, you know if it, if it, if it's an honorable guy, okay, yes, yeah, go and teach. You know, make your money, not a problem, okay. But the problem starts. When the promises come, oh, you know what? I uh, I might give you a belt. Uh, you know that the guy who who is teaching you, uh, he's not coming here too often. I might be here every every time in a year, and you know all these promises. And guys, like I said, I actually didn't say. And it's even in the Bible if you trust the Bible or not, or okay. But it's something that it's old. Okay, it's old. And we're not talking let's not talk religion here but it's old a man should not try to build okay over another man's foundation okay so you go to some places rich places okay and there is a church in there and then there is a cross street there is another church and another how about the poor people that they need help to and you know some guidance okay whatever the good things any church from any religion could do quite just staying into, into the, the, the you know the rich places so uh, that's that explains so if someone comes to your school and you say yeah go go and teach and this guy now is trying to get all your students to be to become that's low level guys that's not classy okay at the end guys truly busy the way I am I really don't care because I don't survive from from seminars anymore okay but it's sad because 
I want to do a continuation. There is a reason why I'm doing this now and why I'm thinking now having an online thing where, you know, with the curriculum and people can follow uh, our, our line, our guidance, okay? Uh, not just, uh, not just ju in jiu-jitsu, but in the business aspect and stuff like that that we're going to be talking, okay? So align, but people who really relate to me, people who understand and the people who have the same ideas that I have. Okay, so now they want to, you know, go and, uh, and uh, uh, you know, please put my logo on your website, uh, do these, do, I'm going to offer these, we're going to be there well, every, every once in a while. So this, this is bad, guys. This is real bad. Okay, uh, let me touch it here. Something. So this is really bad. Because one day when I came to Europe, some 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 countries that I've been there, I taught a seminar for like five people, six people, four people. Did I make money? Yes, but that that time I was actually selling my lunch to buy dinner. That's pretty much it, you know. I was happy. I was happy. I met a lot of people. Okay, I could help them with their jiu-jitsu. Many of them now are brown belts and black belts. They have their own classes some are very successful some are not those who are not are those who actually don't follow what i ask ask them to do because guys i'm not like i said i'm not the guy who uh, the, the i'm the true is not on, on what i would say okay but i'm being actually paying a lot for coaching for people teaching me how to you know have a successful school Okay, not selling stuff like uh, giving for free. No, it takes two years in my school, you know, to get a blue belt. So doing the real thing, we don't have to, you know, uh, let's say prostitute, prostitute yourself just to open up, okay, just for making money. No, we're doing a lot of coaching and I try to guide these guys. Like got a uh, uh, affiliate in Canada, Sampa in Canada and Quebec. And the guys are doing great in less than uh, less than four months open they already have more than a hundred students okay something is right okay so something is right uh anyways the guidance if you want to follow stuff it's a, another thing we don't want to talk about that but uh uh be careful when people promising stuff you know be careful people because you know at the end and then they say oh no uh, and uh, he's not here ever guys Jiu-Jitsu, you learn, okay, and then you have to practice. That's all. It's great if you have an instructor every day in there, yes, but it's not like your instructor is there every day teaching you a private class all the time, you know. A high end Gracie, my 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 uh, professor was very busy. He was fighting in pride. He was every time in New York with his with his brother Hansel. And many times, yeah, we were lucky we had other guys teaching, okay? But at the end, he was not there 100% of the time, okay? And I can, I can for, for some, for some uh, let's say, um, period of time, he wasn't there at all. And we kept on training. Well, some people, yes, you know, they left and you know, they went somewhere else. And you don't know what? Somewhere else everyone is trying to make a living too. All the coaches, people are traveling. To, people are doing their stuff. If they're not traveling for competing, they're traveling to uh, teach and make some money. Because this is a, a amateur sport. People need to make a living. If you want to have a jiu-jitsu lifestyle, you, know, you have to make a living. You have to put food on the table. Okay. You have to understand that. So be careful with these promises, okay? People are promising you, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this, be my affiliate, be do, do, do this and do that. Because, you know, that's that's sad, very sad. That's actually happened to me, okay? And it's actually happening all over. This, You know, man, go build your own stuff, you know? It's so easy. Go build your own stuff. I, I've been to many places that a other friend of mine's school, and I never offered them. I actually got them to... Some people ask me, oh, I want to be with you. I say, actually, no, I prefer not, you know. I prefer not. That's 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 no good. Stay with your instructor, okay. Like when people come to my own school here in America, oh, I, I, you know, I'm not happy. It isn't I am not happy. It's going to be I am not happy always because, you know, you have to change yourself a little bit first, 
okay? And understand that things are not, are not, let's say, uh, uh, how can I say, everything is round and perfect all the time. Sometimes you gotta grind and understand that, you know, you gotta try to make it perfect or the best you can possibly make. That's all, okay? And um, so my line, I want to talk to be a, a, a little bit about my line of thought, and you know, if you be if you believe that, if you think that's great, good, okay. If not, that's okay to move on and go to to somewhere else and another place, okay. Guys, uh, I understand now. I compete a lot, okay. I see some a lot of people like talking, oh, us, so, oh, so you know, on on Facebook and and people on uh, having uh, uh, their blogs and they talk their own stuff and. Then, I barely compete, okay? I compete a lot. No, there are many people that compete more than me, of course. But I compete in myself in, in judo, in wrestling, in jiu-jitsu, and uh, in boxing, MMA. I did my stuff, guys. So I'm not here to, you know, to say, ah, is that nobody saying or trying to brag? Okay, I'm. A, uh, but, you know, I, I have my a line that I picked. And um, competition is just one part of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, okay? And the way... Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is going towards competition. Actually, it's not so... How can I put this? Efficient in MMA anymore. Okay, you cannot pull guard in MMA. Some people do. But it's rare. It's rare. You cannot do the berimbolo in, uh, in, uh, in uh, an MMA. Okay? So some stuff is hard to do in MMA because jiu-jitsu is take the guy down, pass the guard and submit, okay? If you went to the bottom, somehow sweep him, end up on top and submit the guy or submit him from the bottom. That's pretty much it. That's jiu-jitsu, jiu -jitsu, simple. Okay, but now people start, but that's okay. That's the competition part and it's evolving, which is great. I actually love it. It's evolving and make you as instructor and always try to be up, the, up to date. And, uh, you know, it's a great stuff. It's great stuff. But you have the jiu-jitsu also that people who don't compete, okay? And it's a shame when you think that only competing, only the competitors are the ones who deserve to be jiu-jitsu. That's a little hypocrite. Okay, that's why you don't have much students in your school. Okay, because there are a lot of people out there that actually they need jiu jitsu for their better confidence, for their health. Okay, for the better self esteem to make the world better. My my dad once said that if everyone did jiu jitsu in, in you know uh, the world would be better, and I believe that. Okay, it would be more respectful. Okay, so. Go out there, out there and try to find these people. That's my line, okay? That, try to find those people because if your school is only for competitors, you're going to have a bunch, a bunch, not a bunch, you're going to have a few people, okay? All of them, okay, just selfish, I would say, because it is, it is a, uh, a characteristic to be competitor. It's a must to be competitor, to be selfish, Okay, when you're a competitor, you, because you have the only thing you have to care about yourself, because you gotta be, get better to to win, and it's understandable. Okay, but it's that's the only type of people you want to work with, or you want to help the people who they want to get better, better in life. Okay, like I said, they want to get guts to you know to tell their boss they're not they're gonna work there anymore and uh, put a here my two weeks notice and uh, i don't want to work here anymore do you understand so that's my my line so people who it's not only is the self-defense part too is that is the part of the lifestyle too okay because if you respect the guy who only competes what happens when you compete anymore you're gonna stop respecting the guy if you respect that black belt that can uh, that only that black belt that can beat you what what happened when he cannot beat you anymore because he's old you're gonna stop respecting this this is this is this is horrible okay this is horrible. this is like the ghetto side of the, the of the martial arts the bad side it's like people who people with guns that you know, when you buy a gun, when you have a gun, you have to have a responsi responsibility. Same as a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu or any other sport, like you can actually hurt someone, okay? Because if you go out just showing that you're tough and hurting other people, 
Okay, these were old times when jiu-jitsu need to prove the uh, you know uh, itself. Now we don't need to prove jiu-jitsu anymore. It's out there. People saw that. Okay, so going out, going, going out and bullying people and offending people and playing tough and uh, the only people in your academy who deserve some talking and deserve you, your attention a little bit are the competitors. That's not good for you. That's not good for jiu-jitsu. Okay, guys, unfortunately, boxing is that way. Only for the, you know, the tough. You got, I went to many block, boxing places. The guys don't want to teach me because I was old, a little older. You know, finally, I found a guy on another who teach box. And these guys, you know what? They're surviving. They're making their money. And then people say, oh, there is no money in boxing. Boxing teaching unless you, you're not going to be the, the world champion. No, oh, yeah, a lot of people would benefit from the boxing. It's a, it's a lovely art. I love that. But the mindset, the problem is this. So you want to be the same guy? Okay? So, finishing. If you're... Now I told a little bit about my, my, my lineage. My, uh, not my lineage. My, my, my line of thought. Okay? What I believe was Jiu-Jitsu for the martial art only, not just the competition. Uh, also the martial arts, not only the competition. Okay, if you believe with that, great. If you're not, you can go. You can go and be with the competition guy. That's okay. We're gonna continue here. We're gonna continue to try to help people. We're gonna continue to have kids in our classes. We're gonna continue to, you know, make those kids better. Continue to make the adults better, and and so on. You know, we're gonna make jiu-jitsu bigger for everyone. Okay, and if you have a problem with that, you know, I know that sooner or later you're gonna find out you're, you're wrong. Okay, and uh, because you're gonna get old and you're gonna stop beating pe beating up people, and then what are you gonna do? You're gonna stop jiu jitsu, so that means you don't like jiu jitsu. Okay, because it's a life this is a forever for the rest of your life, not just uh, you know, whilst you can beat up people, whilst you can compete. So, uh, I hope you guys like it. Okay, and again, man up if you have a problem with your instructor, go and talk to him. Okay, and find the best possible uh, um, uh, way out, the best possible uh, way to fix the problem. Okay, if it's that is no fixing, okay, unfortunately, we move on and change. But if, it, if it's not, if it's that is a fix and try, you know, to make don't don't start talking in on the back, don't start like you know. Uh, uh, having thinking, uh, 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 please don't open a school uh, right beside your instructor or something. That's that's a horrible low class level which will be maybe make people be away from jiu jitsu because it will be a bunch of crooks. Okay, so um, and that's it, guys. Remember, the martial arts it make is is it came here to educate you to make you a better person. Okay, not to fight for little things. One 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 another thing. That I want to say just to end here. Once a guy told me, "Hey, the guy across the street, he he charged 150, and uh, but we are better. I think I, I should charge. How much you think I should charge? Actually, he was asking because well, we we are better, but we don't have anybody yet. And I said, "Hey, the guy across, you charge the price you're comfortable with. The guy across the street, he has his own students. Don't think you're gonna open for 120. All his students will come to you because we will not. With the guy, someone who is starting that with the other guy, they will stay with the other guy. One or two will come to you, but you know what? Later they will come to some other place. You charge the price you want. The price will, the price you think you can pay your rent and you can pay yourself, and you're gonna come in and teach a happy class. Okay, because you're happy, you love the life, and try to get people who does not know what jiu-jitsu is. Try to get people who need jiu-jitsu, but they don't know that they need it. These people are out there, and a bunch of them, they need jiu-jitsu. Stop fighting with other people. Stop fighting with jiu-jitsu guys, because they share the same dream as yours. They share the same dream as yours. You shouldn't hate this guy. Thank you for watching this, guys.